Hey guys, this is Nerf Boy Productions here. Welcome to my unboxing and review of I don't know what, and the reason for that is because it is still in the packaging. So uh, I don't exactly know what's in here. Um, and the reason being, I bought this off eBay, as you can see by the lovely eBay tape. And um, yeah, so I don't. I know I bought like ten things, and I so uh, they all came in today. <laughs> They're all on my bed. And, um, so, you can see, like, all the boxes and stuff, so, uh, aha, and it is what I thought it was. Now, this video, this one, I was really excited for, so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to make this video first. This is, so, we open up the box, and we have this little guy. So now the box is empty, and we have this. This is something I've never had. Yeah. This is the Nerf and Strike Deploy CS6. Now, this is a pretty old gun. I got this when I was around nine years old. I bought one of these. Thing is, these aren't don't sell anymore. You can't find them in stores or uh, it's very hard to find. And when I bought one, I bought a clear version of one. So, uh, the, so when I bought one of these, it was a clear version, and I never really liked the clear version. And because of that deploy, I found out I never liked the clear guns. And I always wanted a colored deploy for my, uh, combos, unboxing, uh, and review, or my Nerf combo videos, because it's easier to see color when you're, re when you're videoing a clear gun. You can't focus in on everything, so I bought one of these, and I'm here for an unboxing and review of it as well. So take a look at the front of the box. Uh, it says Nerf right here. We have a little picture of the deploy, which I'll get into in this video because it's just so awesome. Uh, deploys to form, which I'll talk about in a sec. Uh, it says the old N Strike logo before they came up with the Elite stuff, uh, and then CS deploy CS6. Taking a look at the back of the box, always, of course, a diagram of the box, and then everything you get, or a diagram of the gun with everything you get. So like a tactical rail, flashlight. Pump handle, carry strap, and quick reload clips. It's all there. And then also, and strike arsenal, blasters for every mission. And it advertises the old Recon CS6 and the Raider CS35. Those two guns have been remade, of course, into the Retaliator and uh, the Rampage. Uh, I really hope they make an elite deploy because those things were awesome. Um, just need to mention quickly, I also have... An Elite Spectre, which is awesome. Uh, and I got a bunch of packages uh, for videos. Anyway, so, now you've seen the box, let's uh, dive right into this thing. The video's been long enough. Uh, so we're just going to cut the side here. And all these things I've bought online are all brand new. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, the boxes should be good and uh, everything inside shouldn't be damaged. Because, of course, if it's damaged, I won't be able to... Uh, do any any videos on it if it's severely damaged. Okay. So, cut the tape, open the box. Here we go, something Nerf Boy Productions has never owned, surprisingly. Yes, that's awesome. All right. Anyone ever opened a Nerf gun before? Specifically Nerf. I've opened even really cool things like guitars out of boxes and Anything, the PS3 controllers, I've unboxed everything, but unboxing Nerf guns especially, there's just something about it. Because when I open it up, I see a brand new gun. A gun! It's awesome! So, taking a look here, packaging could be a little better, but I know for a fact this is the normal packaging. Instruction manual just sits on top. Uh, and that's... Uh, it tells you how to clean a jam, fire, using the flashlight, loading ammo, inserting the clips, reloading and uh, inserting batteries, the carrying strap it comes with, and the different modes, and I'll talk all about that, but it's a three-tier, six-piece instruction. Take a look at the back of the box, it's all held in by tape and cardboard slits. No, uh, no twist ties, which is good and bad, uh, pros and cons, because no twist ties means it's not as secure, but also uh, easier to get out of the packaging. So, the Deploy has these cardboard things holding it in, which we could just pull right out, Oh, actually, there is a twist tie, I believe. 
Okay. Alright, so we've got that thing off. This is a twist tie around the actual gun. Let me just pull this off here. It's around the uh, stock of the gun. That's weird. Here's the deploy. Tell you right now, it instantly looks so much different than the deploy I've ever owned. Oh my goodness. And because it's new, that, that feature right there feels so much more firm. Which I will of course talk about because it's just awesome. I always love the end strike colors even though they're bright and flashy. They're maybe just because it's nostalgia or something. Alright, so then at the bottom of, we have a six start clip. Which we can just pull out of there. It was taped in, but and that's a that's a nice brand new six star clip. And then we also have the carrying handle strap thing in the side here. And that uh, I like this strap. It's a nice strap. A lot of guns nowadays uh, with Nerf don't come with straps, and I don't want to say that Nerf stepped on the quality. They stepped up the quality in gun in, in the guns, but. It's the little details that the Nerf used to have, you know? Um, and then there's this flap at the uh, other end, which our darts can then... are all uh, sitting in there. We can just take those guys out. Alright, so... All right, so the dart, uh, the deploy comes with six, uh, just normal. Uh... All right, so I have my six dart clip here and six of the uh, normal end strikes uh, streamlined darts that come with the deploy. So the, yeah, the deploy comes with six darts and one clip. I wish it came with a little more, but uh, that's all you got. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna load it in here. And of course, we will uh, talk about this gun because it's very, very cool. So now that we have it, let's take a look at the features like this. Basically, on one side, it says deploy, and there's some little gray decal on the, uh, on there. And then the other side, there's no gray decal, but it says deploy. Uh, the butt of the, the, uh, the stock here that shoots out says nerf right there, on bl uh, black on gray. And the little details there, and then there's some same thing on the other side. Little bandolier thing. Uh, or sling mount. On each side it has the old end strike logo on the back stock. Uh, this part here is the part that you uh, cock to, uh, which I'll show in a bit. Uh, the handle is right here. Trigger is uh, not my favorite trigger in the world, that is for sure. I don't really like the trigger to be honest, but um, well, I, it, it's just fine. That scared me. It's it's all right. I don't really like it, just the way it pulls. Uh, but of course, they actually have to do this uh, the way they've designed it. They have to do it that way, which I'll explain in a little bit. And then uh, this little piece here flips up and down. And uh, on one side of it, there's like just a gray panel. And then the other side, there's a, a switch, uh, two switches. This this one is the you push to uh, release the magazine, which you have to cock the gun back with that, and then you can release the magazine. And that loads dark. And then there's also this here, which uh, uh, is actually, um, I'll show you in a sec, is a little light that, and you flick this, and basically it's a flashlight. Not a laser like on the uh, recon, but it's actually a light for, uh, you know, lighting up if you're playing in the night. And then uh, it's got one tax where I want. So this is gun mode, all right? This is gun mode. And uh, on this, this little thing here that flips down, right? has uh, this little access door on the right side of the gun and when you cock back the gun like that you can open up the spring-loaded jam door for jams uh, now this gun is awesome because it does have a barrel this is a barrel attachment connector thing so it just doesn't stop there you can actually add on a recon barrel and then a scope from there or whatever you want uh, it also has one tactical rail built into the gun right there on top and like the stampede and the rapid strike and all that has a built-in sight which is just awesome oh and I can already tell you that's much better than the clear version because the, when you try and use the scope on the clear version built into the deploy you can actually see through the plastic you know uh, this is very very nice um, that scared me. I saw a big crack in my gun. I was like, oh no. That's just what this uh, this stock slides on. Um, now, on the right side of the gun, there's this button here. Now, no, it's only on the right side, so it's not ambidextrous. But you push this button, and basically, the stock won't go in because that button's there stopping it. 
right? So you push that in, and then the sl stock can sl uh, slide freely uh, right past that lock. So you push that in, and then you can slide it. And what that'll actually do when you slide it is see that? It pushes up the handle, and then it clicks into place. And you can flip up this piece, and you flip up this just simply just by pushing it up. And you have this. Now it's got a nice carrying handle here, so you can just simply carry the deploy just like so. Really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, so this is the tactical flashlight mode. Uh, yes, on the box they actually uh, advertise it as flashlight mode. And what this is, you have a little light right here on the front left side, which you flick, and of course this little thing right here will shine a light, and you just kind of like hold this and like, you know, kind of walk through dark areas. Say someone, say you want to go into gun mode, you could even leave that light on if you want, but what you do is there's a button on top of, uh, on top right here. Hold on, if I can show you. Uh, this, I just feel like this might be a little bit of a better angle. Um, there is a button right there. See that? And when you push that, what happens, I'll show you right now. Uh, hold on here. What happens is, you push that button, and everything unfolds. This, if we go in slow motion, what will happen is, you push this button, and this will want to fall down, and the stock will want to pop out. And that's all going to happen. So, uh, that's how it uh, deploys. Ha. Alright, so, uh, on top of this piece right here in flashlight mode is the magazine. Now, of course, you can prime back that. Shoot it out of dirt. Okay, and you prime this back, and then you can then release the clip. Now, you can release the clip horizontal or vertically and the way you do it is uh, there's actually a if it's vertical there's a button right here that you just push and the magazine pops out like so uh, that's the magazine release the magazine won't come out push that comes out freely also if you have it down like that you can just push the button the button is designed on it on a slant so you can actually slide your finger across and as you do that the magazine can come out so magazine won't come out and then you go, uh, and it comes right out. It's uh, very ergonomic. So I'm sorry if this video hasn't been my best. Um, it's very hard to review and kind of, not just review, because I could do that, but show you how this gun works, because uh, it's a very complicated gun. But uh, I basically showed you everything. So just to recap, it's got a button on top that can turn it from flashlight mode into gun mode. Again, if do flashlight mode flip up that and then you push the button on the right side but the stock and it slide in and if you have the gun in your hand it's, you'll figure out really fast uh, but then you push the button on the top all flips down you cock it like that with this thing uh, there's the trigger it's got a uh, spot for a strap right there which it comes with comes with six darts and a six dart clip built-in flashlight and a barrel connector really awesome it also has a built-in scope with a Tactical on top to add anything like a stampy riot shield or anything like that. Really, really awesome gun. Um, ranges, I'm not going to bother uh, doing a test fire in this video. Well, I, okay. There's my test fire. Here's my next test fire. It's not empty. Uh, one thing I have to note when you cock it, it didn't really like to go slow. So if I did this, there was a little bit of a feeding problem. I don't know if that's because it's an old gun or because uh, what may go on, or maybe it's just my model, but um, if you cock it fast, like that, not fast, but like from here, if you go back hard, it's like, it'll load fine. But if you do this, the gun will kind of, right at the end, it'll kind of, the door will have trouble clicking into place. Uh, but the shooting it actually sounds very nice. It's muffled. So if you're like trying to be quiet and you're ready, by the time you've made that noise and shot, the darts probably already hit them once they've turned around and located you. So uh, that's all good. Um, I love the access door. Cock it back, you can check out your darts. That's really awesome. So if you pop out the magazine, you can see right through. Um, so yeah, that's, it's, it's really, really awesome. Um, I love the fact that I can go small. You guys know that I, especially in my combos videos, I love guns that uh, have a multi-purpose. Um, this one definitely does that. And uh, as far as I was going with the ranges, it's an old end strike gun, which is why I'm not going to do ranges, because because of the fact that it's an end strike gun, you're going to get around 40 feet with this. Now, that's not bad, uh, but it's, it's certainly nothing uh, 
spectacular compared to something new like a deploy or not a deploy but a uh, elite specter or anything any of the new ones right but uh overall as a gun don't buy it if you're hoping to mod it and just trick it out oh it also has a spot for storing one dart into a handle which is cool um anyway don't buy it if you're hoping to like buy it, deploy because you like it, but you don't like the ranges. So you think, oh, I'm gonna buy it, buy it and mod it. This is the hardest gun in the world to mod by far because of all the springs and twists and turns. Why do you think they only made it for a short amount of time? It was a hassle to make. Uh, I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> but uh, very very cool anyway. It is definitely very cool. Uh, but don't buy it to mod it. It's not the smart thing to do. Buy it if you're like a collector or something because. If you don't care about ranges, then it's a great gun. Ranges, a new end strike gun will get uh, be a little bit better. I bought this because of the fact that it's so cool. Say I filmed this a year or okay, like two or three years ago, before they had end strike elite, so like two years ago, and it was all end strike. Okay, this gun came about maybe three years ago. Uh, so say I bought it three years ago, and I did a review on it then, and you watch this three-year-old video now, I would have said the gun is amazing. Buy it. Things have changed. So if you're gonna buy one now on eBay. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, that being said, to actually use, uh, if you are an extreme modder, go ahead. I could mod it, but a lot of people can't. Um, you need experience, so you know that it's very cool. But maybe you want to use it for movie making. Yeah, for Nerf Wars, this would be a cool, cool gun. Security guard, you know, whatever. You can even bash someone on the head with this, and then, haha! It reminds me of the Chris Vector, K R I S S space. V E C T O R Chris Vector. It's a it's a folding gun that folds into like a briefcase. It's really really cool, and I think this is designed after it because it, uh, it it's really awesome, and I think that's what this uh, designed after. Anyway, this video has been pretty long, but overall I've given my thought on it. It's a great gun for me. Uh, all just comes down to how you feel about Nerf if you're new or if you're experienced and you kind of want it in your collection. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Nerf Deploy CS6. As always, I'm Nerf Boy Productions. Signing out.